Hi, I'm Pam Hemingway. We're doing the needle tatting class. It's June 1st, 2021. The year is almost half over, believe it or not. Any questions to start with? And we're going to look at my disasters. You found one, the missing flower. What else? <coughs> hmm. Do I have to show you? I'll show you. It's right here. Pretty it is. Absolutely. It's right here. I did eight there when I should have done four. I did ten. I did ten. I always use ten. I have so much ten... T number 10 thread that I will be dead for 300 years before it will be gone. Or I need three lifetimes to use some. Okay. This is how you fix a big boo-boo. You take scissors and you cut. Simple cut. Here's the boo-boo and here's the other boo-boo. <clears throat> so then you unfurl it. And don't be afraid to cut it. It's only thread. It won't kill you. It's not brain surgery. <clears throat> and I use my card. Get off there. It's supposed to go right through. It does. And I use my card so I can get my needle. And there it is. I'm already cutting it apart. Because I gotta fix the big boo boo. Oh, this is the boo boo. Okay, good. I got some thread left. See how I can just start from there. Okay, and keep going. So, any questions? Why are you in a panic? Because I cut it. I have a girlfriend. She just about has a heart attack every time I cut it. It's like, <laughs> it don't work. It don't work. Get rid of it. But she's a cook and she'll do the same thing. She'll just throw something right in the trash. <clears throat> like if she makes cake or candy, fudge. Okay, peanut butter fudge. Now, I, that's, that's my all-time favorite, peanut butter fudge. If she makes peanut butter fudge and it don't set, she'll just pour it right in the trash or down the sink. It's like, don't you do that. I'll eat it with a spoon. Cold coffee, she'll throw it away. I drink cold coffee. Don't you do that. I want it. <laughs> but she's the same way, I mean, with what she does. She's a cake decorator, and that ain't coming undone. Why? Because I cut it too short. Okay. All right. Cut in the wrong spot. Whatever. I see the end there, and I can't get it to come out. See my end? No, that's not an end. Yeah, it is. Hmm. All right, easy solution. Bye, green flower. I ain't going to fight with you anymore. I only got an hour here. Hello. All right, so I get shorter thread now. This time I get a little thread to work with. Uh -huh. Yep. And like I said before, it's only needle and thread. It's not, it's not brain surgery. No one is going to die because I cut it. Well, Aurora might have a heart attack, but <laughs> not going to die. So that's simply how you fix it. You just got to unthread it and keep going. I'll Got a couple more flowers to do.
and then redo it. But see, I didn't have to take this part off. Leave it. I'll get back to it in a minute or two. Oh, yes, it is. Yeah, I like just regular black coffee cold. I was working third shift. I was lugging a heavy thermos to work every day with a pot of coffee in it. By the end of the day, the coffee was cold. So I either had to go find a microwave, which was a little bit of hike from where I sat, or I had to drink it cold. So I started drinking it cold. And I'm like, why am I making it hot to bring? I'll just start out with a cold. So working third shift, I'd make my coffee before I went to bed, and it was nice and cold by the time I got up, pour it in a plastic jug and take it. It was perfect. I liked it. And this just ain't working for me today. I'm just not... <laughs> that's why. I'm trying to dig it out, and it's already out. Okay. This is actually a true ring, so that's why it's harder to pull apart. It's where you put the, where you put your core thread through the stitches you just made with the same thread. I wanted to do this two days ago when I found the mistake and I said, no, I'm going to leave it and show you guys how I fix things. It won't kill you to cut it. Hi, Laurel. Come on, you got to get out of there now. It's still not... Oh, I know why, because I'm coming at it backwards. See, I tatted it in that direction. Now I'm cutting it from the other direction. So I'm just going to have to sit here and untat it. Ah, that's why. And see how it's hooked in here? Well, i got to unhook it in there. That's why I'm going backwards with it. Yep, that's exactly why. It just don't want to come out that way. All right, so I'll untat it. It's only eight, eight um, the double stitches. The flower, though, I count by the picos, not by the stitches. I know, nobody said I'm normal. It's a good thing. Okay, it's Esty, E-T-S-Y, Etsy, not Esty, dot com, E-T-S-Y, and her name is Gail Weaver. And it's the Tatted Cross. Hmm. Hmm. By the time I get this done, I won't have time to fix it. Ha, ha, ha. But you'll be able to see I can fix it from here. Come on. Well, if you pull on the right string, it'll work a lot easier. Duh. Oh, I'm going to have to untap two more flowers. Oh, this is going to be ridiculous. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just going to cut it right out of there. Yeah, they're not mine to show you. So I don't want anybody to sit here and count out. Because that's stealing. Like it or not, it is. She's charging for them. They got to be paid for. Hmm. Oh, maybe I'm just going to cut it all out and start over. Yep, I think that's what I'm going to do. 
Here we go again. Give me my scissors. I ain't got all day. I'm cutting right below that flower. Boom. Gone. And I'm going to cut that pico so I can get that off. Okay. All right. I'm going to leave that much green for now. And then I'm just going to cut. Oh, and I was doing the blipless join on this one, too. I thought I did good job on the blipless join. And then here I go. What a mess. Okay. Leave that until I figure out where I'm going. Okay. Oh, these have got to get on this side. All right. So, here's my green thread. Nothing like making a mountain out of a molehill, Pam. It's in the center two rows are from Gail Weaver's pattern. Harola Hala was making the um, cross and then she came out with the floret edging and it's like, oh, that'll look pretty on there. And it would. And it did. All right, so now I'm attaching my new core thread. I'm just going to sew through here somewhere. Yeah, okay. Do you see me stab myself? I'm good at that. And I need a long thread because these are true rings and they take up a lot more of my thread. This is going to be a fat one. Tie a knot. Okay. Knot there, knot there, and a knot in this one, too. Ooh, yeah, not in this one, too. Maybe I should do, uh, yeah, okay, do a knot. Okay, shorten that edge. And now I'm going to stab all my knots. Could have tied them all together, but I didn't. Okay. I was planning on saving my green thread. Now I got to get my green thread out. Okay. And again, I'm going to start with a double stitch. The one right up to the flower. Yep, right up there. Stab that again. Hi, Nanetta. Okay, I did the first stitch, now the second one from the bottom. It's not working so nicely today. Okay, that's those two are in. And then one, two. I'm just laying it where it's got to go. 
Make sure I get it right and then hold it. That's three stitches. And that's four. Okay. Pull them off my needle and now I pull through. I know it's it's a pain to sit here and watch me pull all that thread through, but I wasn't planning on doing this and I just already had it set up. And then all of a sudden it was like, yeah, we'll do this today. Okay, get that pico out of that corner. Okay, now I can pull it. All right, so now I got my four stitches there. Okay, from there was another flower. So I'm going to do another flower. See, this is why you use up all your thread. Okay, one, one, two, one. All right, one pico. Two Pico, get out of there. Three Pico. Four Pico. It is a little fiddly when you got, you know, these extra wire threads hanging in here. Four Pico, five, six, seven. But I'd rather do that than throw the whole thing away and start over. Okay, thread goes over the top, finger on the end, and let's make sure I'm not tangled. I hope Tammy's not watching. She's going to kill me. Big long string again. Okay, now I got my middle. Oh, see, and I learned another little trick. This is going to be funny, guys. Just watch this a minute. Okay, it says reverse work. Don't have to. Not with your needle. Okay, I'm all caught up. Oh, I'm twisted. That's why. Wait a minute. Let me get untwisted. See, like I said, it's fiddly with all these threads hanging around. Oh, good. I twisted it up more. Good job. Good job. Okay, now I'm untwisted. Well, kind of untwisted. I'll just get this through here. Okay. Sorry about that. All right. Now, it says to... I'm still twisted. Got to do something about that corner. Okay. It says to reverse your work. Don't have to. Because when you put your thread in... All right, wait a minute. It was reversed like this. The thread was over here to begin with. So now when I put the thread on, one, two, three. Oh, count again. Now it's three, four. And I'm supposed to hook to this pico. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we hook to this pico. And I was doing that blipless join, uh, the first one. Don't stab yourself, Pam. It's not worth it. Okay. And then you just pull it up. Oh. I know why. That, why, that thread's supposed to be on this side. Works much easier on that side. See how they're all flat against where they're supposed to be? 
I scrunch them up and yank. And it just pulls it all in. And then this one crosses over in front. And then the second half. One. No, that's two. Three. Four. Five. Am I going too fast? Five. Six. Seven. All right, wait a minute. No. Two, four, six. Seven. Okay. And then it was seven. A pico and four. My thread's not going the way I want it to. Pico. One, two, three, four. Pull it through. And did you see my flower turn around? The flower turns around to go right the way it's supposed to. I thought that was so funny when it did it the first time. I'm like, hmm. Okay. So then you're supposed to pick up your one, two, three, four, the middle one. And then it's four more. But you can see I fixed it. I still got some more fixing to do. I'm going to tighten that up later with, um, well, I can do it anytime. That's the first string. Let me grab another needle here, or I'll take this one. And all it is is just keep going. I'm going back down through. What's a good idea? A little fast with explaining. Okay. Instead of taking out all this row to fix the missing flower there, I just turn around, cut, and replaced it. Okay. Now I'm hooking in this tail. Give me my threader. It might get easier. Well, that's another one, too. I can do a one-on-one, -on -one and I can show you again if I have to. See, now that's tighter. And now it's back to normal. Get all these white threads out of the way. So now I can continue on and fix it. But what I'll do on this end is I will just take and hide these threads that are left out. Okay, that's got to come out a little bit. Yep, that's got to come out. Would help if I use the point of that thread needle. Okay, now I get some green here that I can work with to get rid of it, hide it. Oh, yeah, I forgot that's in there. Okay, it's all right, got to pull it through. Or maybe I'll leave it to show where the pico is. Yeah, I'll leave it, show where the pico is. Okay, so now I got work to do. Any questions? Hmm. Which one was the nice trick, 
in it. Uh. It's not really. I've done it before and it was a little easier, I think. Because I'm doing just fixing it for me. I'm not. It's hard to do it so that you can see it and I can show you what I'm doing. I mean, normally I'm sitting in my chair and I've got the thing up on my chest. And let me tell you, my sitting in my chair, my tools end up on my chest. <laughs> now they're over here somewhere. I've got to learn to work differently is what it is. I can continue. Huh. Yes, this is very nice being able to show you rather than trying to explain it all. But literally, I just really just cut it out and go. And believe it or not, you see this little flower? It is safe. It. I don't have to hide that. I mean, I will hide it, but it ain't going nowhere because of the true ring parts. And I'm going to leave this just to show where that pico is so i won't have to dig for it when i or make a new one when i get there and i will hide my threads down through the thing but i did check the rest of the flowers are there each road has a flower so i'll be good for the rest of it how many times what takes laurel to process something Ah, nice. Glad you like it. It's just something I started doing because I was like, how am I going to tie it over that? And with the um, oh, dental threader, it's hard because once you pull your thread through, it don't want to pull it through if the needle is still in there. So you got to do it in a certain order and that's kind of how i stopped doing using the needle threader so much the dental threader but anyways that's the how it works i've enjoyed making this already i have a feeling i'll be making a few hmm It's just something I come out with. So, no questions, no ideas of what we're going to do. Any help needed anywhere? I can continue on. I just wanted you to see that even teachers make boo-boos. Not on purpose. I did not do that on purpose. I just... Didn't want to show you that one. <laughs> That's not what I did. <laughs> Got to re-thread my needle. And it didn't all go in. Okay. Hmm, syntax. Yeah, it was just, like I said, something I come out with one day, and I was like, hey, that works. It works even better when you knot three of them together to do it. Okay. It's only string, and it's only... A needle not gonna hurt anybody if you mess it up I'm the same way with my crochet if I don't like the way it looks it ain't staying it's simple that's a little easy to pull out though I have a girlfriend that like I think I said before that she just about panic when I pull something out it's like why I ain't keeping it 
I'm not happy with it. I'm not going to give it to somebody else. Two picos, three picos, five picos. No, two picos, four picos, five. Now I can count. Six. Seven. The biggest problem with this part and uh, fixing something like this is all the tangled threads. You got to make sure they're not tangled before you go trying to tie something in or you're in trouble. And that's a true ring. I hold the end and yank it closed. Oh, good. You're going to see how it twists again. And this is a short one to see it. And it gets caught on itself. Oh, gosh. One. Two. Three. Put it on the needle, not over the needle. Four. Okay. Now see how the flower is backwards. See this this flower is the picos are going the right direction. There's no foot on the end, the bottom of the picos. Well, there is on those. Watch this little trick. This is funny. You don't even have to flip it. Are you seeing? Are you watching? Watch the little flower in a minute. In a minute. In a minute. It's just going to flip over. And it flips. It just flips in the right spot. Now I got to do another flower. Good. It's going to make this thread shorter soon. One. Two, three. Oh no, I'm not counting picos again. Yeah, three picos. No, no, a true ring is not the same as a self closing mock ring. S S S R. No, S S C R. Self, no, S C M R. Jeepers. <laughs> I don't know what an SSR is then. Or did you mean the self-closing mock ring? No, those are two different rings. A true ring is I'm tatting with my own tail. And here's what I just tatted with, and here's the tail. Here's all of that. A self-closing mock ring is different, and I'll show you in a second. Let me get this little one done. Okay. Put that aside. Good. Get rid of it. All right. Pick out a color. Okay. Self-closing mock ring is different. If that's what you're talking about. One, two, three, four. Now, I would be tatting with my ball thread if it was attached to a ball. It's not. Four. I'll just do five. A pico and five. I want it big enough you can actually see it. Okay, that's 10 stitches. So see the five? Okay, I'm tatting with the ball thread. If that was a ball, it would be on the ball. And this is the tail. You take the tail, you put it through, 
and you take and you catch that with your needle. Let me get this other tail out of the way. Wrong one. That one. Okay. See that connection? See how that looks? You're catching your own tail. And that's the way the self-closing mark ring looks. Now, to do the other one, it's this way. You tat with the tail. One, two, three, four, five, pico, one, two, three. I feel like I'm on Sesame Street. Four, five. <laughs> Been a long time since I've watched Sesame Street. My kid is 36. <laughs> oh, that's the wrong. That's not my good needle. Okay, now I tatted with the tail, and now the tail is going to actually go through the ring and make it close. Do you see how the tail is going to go through the ring? Okay. And it makes a different ring. It closes on itself. No, it doesn't. Every time I count, I think of that. Five! <laughs> or whatever number I get in my mood. But there's the two rings. One's a self-closing mock ring, and one's a true ring. Look at the difference in size. It. I don't know why. They're both five, ten stitches worth. But a true ring is so different than a mock ring. And to pull them out is a torture run. It can be done, but it's, you got to yank on it and yank on it. This one? Oh, yeah, because I used the tail for this. It ain't going to work so easy. But it just, okay. Self-closing mock ring or ring and chain method for needle. I have no clue what you're talking about, Sin. Okay. They are two different rings. If you're doing a, a thrown-off ring or a Josephine ring, you need the true ring. If you're doing most needlework, you can use this ring. But truth... These are so much prettier. But like I said, I use a long tail tail thread because you're using your tail thread to tat with as well as to close. It's not just a core thread. It's your whole working thread. Did that make any sense? Great. It makes more sense. Now, see, I like pulling them apart just as much as I like making them. There's something wrong with my logic, I think. Yes, that's that's for a shadow. That's, but that's the one that's quite common for the needle. The true ring is the oddball for the, for the needle, and it's the common for the shadow. They're reversed. The pretty pattern, all right, go to shade the, no, the word the, shade tree designer uh, tatting, 
And the pretty pattern is listed there under the free ones. And it's at the bottom of the page. You might want to put it at the top, Hala. <laughs> Just my thinking. I used to untangle fishing line. My boyfriend of four years had a boat and he just, we'd go out fishing and the line would get tangled. It's like, oh, I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> then it got to be the point that, oh, she'll do it. Just give it to her. <laughs> I love it. I don't know why. I just find it very, very uh, calming. Okay, I will put that, I'll go get it in a minute and put it out there. Yes, learn one first and then go to the other. And learn both, because there's so many things that are so much easier for both. Let me give you that link again. Oh, it's right there. I <laughs> copy. See, now I'm going to be onto my other computer. Paste. Enter. And I didn't see it go. Oh, yeah, I did. That's the link. That's got everything listed right there for you. Under her page. Uh. Okay, back to work. All right. Yeah, I'm making me my own tatting table, and this is it. And I've been having fun with it, too. Yeah, once you learn one, you, then you learn how the stitches go and what you want to do with it. But then I find it, I'm sticking with the needle. I don't want shuttle because my hands just don't work the way you other girls' hands work. I can't do that pinch right. I just can't. I can't hold it. Now, see, even like right here, I've got it for this long, and it's hurting. Okay, that's back up. Well, this probably is not a good card to use. Oh, actually it is. It's an old one. I got to scratch that name off there. I don't know if it's a good card or a bad card. As long as the number's gone, I don't care. And that's all gone, that's all gone. Okay. Now I can play some more. Yep, that's an old credit card. And the name on it is my son. <laughs> kind of got to keep him. Kind of been a lifesaver lately. Just need to get some more work done around here. Said I wanted the grill on the front porch. He literally picks it up and carries it. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you a funny story about my son. He's tall. I am 5'1 on a wish and a prayer. He is 6'2. His father is pretty tall too, but not as tall as he is. Anyway. I said to him, I says, I need the ladder in the house. He says, why? I says, because I want to clean off the fans, the fan blades. He says, what ladder? I says, the ladder that has the tray on it so I can put a bucket of clean water and soapy water and finish it. So this went on for a couple of days. I've looked, I kept asking him, will you bring in the ladder for me? Then a few days later, he said, I had to ask him again. He says, Ma, what do you need the ladder for? So I had to explain it to him again. And he says, you don't need a ladder. Just give me the bucket of water. 
Do you know that kid stood on the floor and cleaned the fan, ceiling fan blades? I was ready to chop him off at the knees. Okay, I can do that too. Paint link for the flowers. The florette. I gotta dig that up though. It'll only take a minute. This is why I'm so glad I put that table over here. So much easier. Oh, I thought it was in there. Uh, nope, nope, nope. Okay. I got it. I just got to dig it out. That's me. Nobody said I'm normal. Good thing. Classes. Needle. Monday. No, my needle. Ooh. That's not the link, though. That's the, the PDF. I'll have to get her website off it. Okay, never mind. I know where else to go. Yeah, good thing I'm doing this, because I didn't even realize it was that hard to find. GeorgiaSites.com. It's on the needle homework under Advanced. Under Lessons and Logs, Direct Patent Link, Copy Link Address. Okay, back over here, Link Address, Paste. Ta-da! Should work. Ta-da! There it is. Boy, that was work trying to find that one. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to save that link myself when I get there. Under Advanced. Add Page. Save. And then... Advent, no. I can always do that part later. Yep, yeah. okay. Back on this. Okay, I'm back. You don't need my mouse. Put the mouse away. Yep, that link worked. I checked it. Span the notes and save it as a PDF. Well, I print them out as the classes go now anyway, since I got a new printer. Okay. Let me get that one too then. Give me a minute. Hey, I think it's worth it myself. Okay, E-T-S-Y dot com. I'm even talking to myself as I type. God, this camera's killing me. <laughs> okay, search Gail Weaver. Search. Okay, copy. Paste. Oh boy, that's a long one, but it'll do it. Why did my TV go back to the... Oh no. That's not taking it. It don't like a long link. Great.
What bad link? Yeah. It's not doing it. All right, let's just go to her whole page. Gail Weaver Jewelry. One word. It's right there, the first one. Okay, that's a shorter link. Copy. You're right. It This chat don't like a long link. It don't like a long typing. Okay, good. Okay, I'm back over here to where I can read. Okay, I save mine so I can put it on the phone or the iPad. Easier for me in the doctor's office. Absolutely. I print. I got this file thing some time ago. And it's got, like, different things. So now I'm printing them by what group they are. I got needle, advance, begin, design, class. Class? What's class? I don't know, and miscellaneous. So I'm putting my patterns in there. I just bought a new printer that has the HP um, ink thing where they send you ink when you need it. Oh my gosh, I've already got a spare set of inkers. Yes, these patterns are beautiful. No, it does not like. What does not like? Hmm. Anyway, so no questions for the rest of this seven minutes I've got left. I enjoy doing this, but talking to myself is getting on my nerves. <laughs> oh, here's another little trick I use all the time. Is my magnet. I use it all the time. It just... Keeps me from losing things a lot. Um, here's another one. Magnet bowl. This was my dog Soresto thing. And I put that in the middle. <laughs> Throw it in there. It works. Keep track of everything. Did we lose audio? I don't think so. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe. Okay. It's not muted. Oh, good. Anything else I can help you with? Okay. Is everybody part of the Facebook group? Needle to number two, tat. Let me write that out. Um, that way there, if you need me during the season, you can just, um, what's the word I want to say? Tag me or email me or jump off a bridge. I don't know. <laughs> Nobody said I have a clue. N-E-D-L-E-2, -E number two, tat, Facebook page. That's also my email. Okay. Yeah, you have your troubles with sudden link. There's no doubt about that. Thank you, Laurel. There's a Facebook group that matches that name. Find it. That's me. And Tammy. Tammy's a admin in there, too. And you can reach me through there. You can reach me through the email. You can reach me through needle to tat. Although, truthfully, it's safer to just reach me through the online tatting email. During the summer, I will at least be checking it at least one day a week. 
I probably won't be checking it every day. Hmm. Anything else you need to see? No, do, whatever. We get four minutes. No, we get as much as I want. Three fifty six. Nice. Thank you for coming, Ninetta. You know more about tatting than I do. Although I'm learning. Some things I just got to learn as I go. Trying to figure out how to do roll tatting for a butterfly body. You're welcome. Sin said thank you. If she has questions, she'll let me know. And thanks for all we do. I do for her. For the whatever. Who cares? I just wanted to explain why I said welcome. <laughs> okay. Anyway. I'm going to get off here. And I'm going to finish up my piece. And when I get it pretty all done, I'll let you know. You might get to see it. I'll take a picture. It'll be on my Hilltop Tatter page anyway. Okay, you all have a good day. Can you please put dates on the classes when you process them? No, we cannot. That goes up by, by um, 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 um uh, Google. Google does that. Um, yeah, now my computer wants to know what I want to know about Google. Wait a minute. Go away, Google picture. Um, no, this, can I put, Wait a minute. Can you please put dates on the classes when you all process them? No, I believe that's a Google issue. And the dates take up so much room on there that they go by the names, I think. But they should be in an order eventually. Okay. Yeah, it's just not easy to do. Uh, I... Don't know if I can change that, but I'll try online. I'll see what I can do. Okay. Summer classes. I sent out an email. I was sitting here listening to Tammy's lesson yesterday because I lost internet while it was on. So as I was listening to it, I was typing it up and I thought, well, you know what? Why not share that? Let everybody know, you know, what's going on. So I just shared that little message I did with all the dates and things coming up on the future. Yes, it is. Um, Margaret wants to know, is the only way to enter this live by going through the email link? Yes. Each class, each day gets a new link. And when the day that my, my internet went out, I had to create a new link and send that out quick. But after the class is over, that link dies. That just link just dies right out. Okay. Yeah, we're going to have a busy summer. We got work to do with the website. We got work to do with, I got work to do with setting up my table. Although I think I'm getting pretty good at what I want. This has just got to go a little bit further that way. And I think I'll have everything the way I want it. So, um, the, we still got homework coming. We got, I got to find needle patterns to send out. I got one for July, one for August, no, two for August. And I'm doing a special class August 17th. Uh, Tammy said she thinks I got something up her sleeve. I do. I know what I'm doing. Laurel knows what I'm doing. But anyways, I was just going to show you something. Anyhow, thank you, Nanetta. Have a happy summer. Enjoy the summer and happy tatting. Are you going to tat days? I'm going to my first. My very first one. Never been to anything like that before.
Yeah, I sent out an email this morning. Or, yeah, I think it was this morning with all the dates. I was typing it up for me and I thought, well, I'll just share it with all of you. If you click the link in class email to come here, it takes you to process class. What processed class? I have no clue. I'm hoping to have a blast. I'm hoping to go every year now. But who knows? Okay. It's been fun. It's over and you guys all have a good day. Thank you for coming and watching me cut up my tatting. <laughs> I know that sounds awful, but it's fun. Oh yeah, after the class it goes to a dead screen. Absolutely. Because it's only while the class is going and then once the class is gone, that link dies. Okay. You all have a great day. Thanks for coming. And if you need me, you know where to find me. Thank you. Bye, everybody.